हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल टेक यू थ्रू सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री आर्क एंड कॉर्ड एंड व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन एन आर्क एंड अ कॉर्ड ओके लेट मी टेल यू स्टोरी देयर इज अ वेल फुल ऑफ वाटर एंड देयर आर टू गाइस फ्रेंड्स सिटिंग ऑन द वॉल ऑफ द वेल वन पर्सन इज सिटिंग हियर मिस्टर ए one another person sitting here mr b now just just assume that mr b has some got has got some snacks and mr a wants to go to mr b and share some snacks with him um now how can mr a reach mr b okay uh we can say that he can walk along the periphery of the wall of the well and reach mr b like this or he can walk around by the other side and reach mr b or he can jump in the well he can swim to mr b now as you see there were three possible path he can take to reach mr b out of which now we have just come across two basic concepts of geometry uh, chord an arc you can see this this particular path is a straight line and this particular straight line is connecting two points on the periphery of the circle this is called as chord and the same two points when joined along the periphery of the circle is called as arc okay now you can see this that these two points are same but are connected by three different parts by three different possibilities now this one is also arc and this one is also arc but this one is quite a long bigger arc so right now will not be a great uh, idea uh, to reach because it will take more time uh, so you can see from this picture that the chord is the shortest distance between these two points okay so that means the arc length is always bigger than the chord length correct now mm, what will be the relation between these two uh, parameters uh, let's see now we know i'll just draw a bigger picture for understanding this is an arc made by a radius r this is the center of the circle and this one is the chord this is the chord length say i denote chord length by a and this is the arc length say i denote by s and the included angle for this chord or this arc it's say theta now what i do i draw a straight line from here crossing connecting the chord now this angle is a right angle triangle now you can see this is a right angle triangle this angle is theta by 2 this distance obviously intersect bisects the chord so this distance is a by 2 this distance is a by 2 now we know that arc length s is equal to radius times theta but remember one thing this theta over here is measured in radians now if you want to calculate uh, the arc length and you don't know the angle in radians or you have the angle in degrees so how to convert that into degrees so theta will be equal to i take this r on the other side so it becomes s by r uh, theta angle in radians i want to convert this into degrees so if i want theta in degrees then i have to multiply this value s by r i i want to convert radians into degrees so i have to multiply by 180 by correct 
Now we have uh, the value of theta, the included angle. Just consider this particular triangle over here. So it's a right angle triangle having a radius uh, as its one side and one side as a by 2 and this angle is theta by 2. Now we know the sine value of theta by 2 will be equal to a by 2 by r which will be equal to a by 2r. Okay. Now what we'll do, uh, we'll take inverse of this side, inverse of uh, both the sides, so it will become uh, theta by 2 will be equal to sine inverse a by 2r, okay. Now what we want to do, we want to calculate, uh, find the relation between a and s over here. What is common in these two equations? We can see theta is common in, in these two equations. So what we can do quickly is I can substitute this theta value over here and let's see what happens. So you take this equation over here and substitute this, this theta value over here. So it becomes 1 by 2 on other side s by r 180 by pi will be equal to sine inverse of a by 2r. Now we have to put this s value on one side. So it becomes s is equal to this 2r, 180 and pi should go on the right hand side. So what will happen over there on the right hand side? 2r pi by 180 into sine inverse a by 2r, correct? So this gives us the final equation, the relationship between the uh, arc length and the chord length. You can see it just it's easy to remember this pi by 180 is because of the conversion of uh, radians into degrees and sine inverse due to the trigonometry and 2r because of the radius. So this is a simple equation which can give you the uh, relationship between arc length and chord length. If you see this equation you can see uh, or even from the geometry you can see uh, you increase the uh, included angle the chord length will increase the arc length will increase. Uh, reduce the in uh, included angle, chord length will reduce as well as the arc length will also reduce. Uh, this formula will be very much useful in many applications where uh, many engineering applications as well uh, where you want to you, you know a certain chord length and you want to find out the arc length or vice versa. Thank you.